When my family moved back to St. Paul, it was imperative that my son, Devar Jr., go to Maxfield because he would be one of four generations that had received education from such an amazing school, which our family and our home church was able to, we had a hand in starting. Upon his enrollment into Maxfield, I learned that Project Spirit was still around. And it made the kid in me well up due to the fact that nearly some 28 odd years ago, I was in the initial group of Project Spirit. I'm happy that to say that the integrity, the morals, and the values, and the heart of this wonderful program have not changed, but they have increased. My son is able to learn things about his culture. He's able to learn things like I did 28 years ago, and he's able to carry up throughout his life. I can echo the words of my wife. If we had to pay, we couldn't afford to pay it. Not because we can't afford it, but because Project Spirit is something that we could not put a price tag on. It is my prayer and my hope that 20 years from now that my grandchildren and my son will be able to sit around like I and my son do now and share stories of Project Spirit. My son asked, often asks me, says, Dad, did you do this in Project Spirit when you were a kid? Dad, did you do this in Project Spirit when you were a kid? Dad, did you do this in Project Spirit when you were a kid? And I tell them, I said, no, son, we didn't do that. But the same morals and values are still there. And uh, my son, just on a snippet, my son was sick the other day, and he didn't want to go to school. But he knew if he didn't go to school, he couldn't go to Project Spirit. <laughs> so he said, Dad, can you give me some of that nasty medicine <laughs> so I can go to Project Spirit? <laughs> And so he, he, he endured like a, hard, a true soldier and went that day. And so that's why I love Project Spirit.